This arm was first patented in 1904 and was used uh, a lot for First World War veterans. It's a very robust and it's way ahead of its time in its day. And it was invented by William T. Cairns, who was a machinist that lost his arm in a machine shop accident. And he invented this with the help of a whole bunch of people in Kansas City. It has some many unique pieces. This particular model was made in 1920 and it had a flexible flexation in the elbow and had a unique feature where the hand turned towards the mouth. Inside this bit there is a bevel gear clockwork me mechanism which is joined by a lever to the elbow. So the elbow was connected to the wrist and so when you pull up like that you can see the hand rotating. You can use your body to power it which means you've got far more control in some ways. It's got a very modern attachment point and that is bone implants which is the same as tooth implants. Currently this has been assessed by the FDA in the USA. It's a, a titanium bolt which is implanted in two stages. This was done in Sweden. It's now mainstream in Europe, Australia and South America and we hope in the USA in the near future. The other good thing about this bolt is you can feel again through your bone. So you can, when you're driving a motor car, you can feel the vibrations from the steering wheel and you can, when you hug someone, you can feel, they can feel you, you can feel them.